It's a Rodale. How long do we stop? One minute, sir. Why don't you go have a look, Paul? You've got plenty of time. I'll say I have. Hey, give us a lift, will you? Sure. Say, don't fall down there. It'll cost you six bits. That's a lot of money. Yes. the best in the West. Good luck, Phil. You'll need it. I thought that man was the best in the West. Yes. No man's ever ridden that horse. Then, uh, Anybody who could ride him would really be doing something, wouldn't they? I say they would. Would you call riding him uh, an objective? What? I said, would you call riding that horse an objective? Yeah, but uh, it'd still be just a horse. So what time is it? About, uh, no etiquette. Say, can anybody ride here? Hell couldn't, but anybody can try. Well, I'd like to take a whack at the same horse. What do you want to take the Latin for? Need the 50 bucks? You sure got a name. You want to ride them right now? Well, sure. Only got a few minutes. My train's waiting in the station. The train's waiting? Well, what do you know about a guy like that? Your pack is on him right now. Hey, bring that horse back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take my hat, you'll find it soft to fall on. Thanks. You haven't got a pillow in your pocket, have you? A fellow with Phil Acton hat and shaft is going to attempt to ride the cross triangle country. Let's give him a great big hand. <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house?
late. Aren't you interested in the Rodale? I have a great deal more in mind right now than Rodale's. You've been riding. Ever since up. See Nick Cambert? Been in the Rodale bar drinking all afternoon. Say, I'm going to be working for you folks again starting tomorrow. How's things at the Cross Triangle? They're worse. A lot worse. Wait a minute, Miss Kitty. I wouldn't go in there. It's Rodale time, and you might be a little rough. Bill acts him. He's your foreman. Well, Bill's riding in the Rodale. Yes, but he'd be here in a minute if he knew you were here. Let me go get him. All right. Go quickly, please. Thanks. Hey, what a call you here for. Now, here's the fence in between the cross triangle and my place. Here's the old bed of the creek. Right here is where the landslide happened and changed the course of that water to flow over this way. Now cross triangle ain't getting any water. Funny how landslides happen. Yeah, isn't it? But then I couldn't stop a landslide, now could I, Garvey? <laughs> you couldn't stop one. Of course not. Now, with no water on the place, the cross triangle don't amount to much, does it? Mm, not much, I guess. Well, now, some smart lawyer could figure a way to stop that ball in case we come up in court. It would be worth less and less. So I offered Baldwin $8,000 for his place. $8,000? That's worth five times that much. Yeah, with water. Bill said he'd be right over as soon as he collects his pride money. Thanks, but I'm not going to wait for Phil. Mr. Cambert. Really very nice. Baldwin. Mr. Cambert, I'd like to talk to you. Sure, anytime. The moose boys. We'll see them. Now, what can I do for you? Mr. Cambert. Nearly 200 of our cattle are dead from lack of water. 20 more died yesterday. Oh, I'm really sorry. But more than half of them were yearlings. Oh, it's cruel. Oh, it certainly is bad, isn't it? You have all the water on your land, and half is rightfully ours. Oh, be reasonable, Miss Baldwin. Your father took that matter to court, and now if the court decides you're entitled to that water, you'll get it. But it will be months before that case is decided. And by that time, all our cattle will be dead. Yeah, the law doesn't move rather slow, does it? Could you tell me what time the next train leaves for Los Angeles? Yeah, I think, uh... Say, why don't you ask over to the station? You make out that deed, eight thousand dollars. Long no sign. Here comes Acker. I'd better beat it. Kitty was here, wasn't she? Yeah, we had a nice long talk. There's some beefs. Now listen, Cameron. It's my job to take care of the cross triangle cattle. That's what Baldwin pays me for. And I'm gonna get water if I have to break your fence down. Bill, have you ever seen these uh, new 45s? Old guns shoot just as well as new, Nick. 
Ah, uh, don't pay any attention to me. I'm just drunk. I don't know what I'm talking about. You always know what you're doing, Nick. This looks like the last bucket, Mr. How's three barrels of water gonna help that stuff? Well, every bucket of water might save a calf. Why don't you let me handle this my way, Mr. Baldwin? You're not going to water any calves with a six-shooter. Well, Kitty told you how Kemper talked to her yesterday at the Rodeo Bar, didn't she? Fine way to be talking to your daughter. I don't want any gunplay, Phil. Oh, yes, but... Hello. Well, I see you got your horse back safely. Throw a saddle on him, will you? How did you get here? Walked. You walked 25 miles from Simmons? Yep. Now I know what they mean in the West by magnificent distances. <laughs> but why? Oh, I just want to try to ride that horse again. You couldn't ride him yesterday at the Rodeo. That's no reason why I can't try to ride him again today, is it? But why? Oh, just for fun, maybe. For a saddle on. Hey, Curly. Throw a saddle on the big fella. Come on, boys. Say, this isn't just a crazy idea, is it? Mm, might be crazy. But it's an idea. How's it going, kid? Oh. I certainly took a long walk for such a short ride. <laughs> like to stick around and ride him sometime. Hey, you haven't got a job around here, have you? Oh, we could use a fellow with your... Intestinal fortitude? Oh, I want you to meet Miss Baldwin. Uh, Larry Knight. I've seen Miss Baldwin before. Yes, indeed. I'm glad to have the opportunity of thanking you. How many this morning, Slim? Fifteen. Those punches of Cambert are carrying rifles in their gun boots, and it looks to me like they want trouble. I'm going over and see Cambert and have a showdown. I'll shoot his... Phil, give me your gun. Why? Give me your gun. I know your temper. You must be awfully tired and hungry after you walk. Couldn't I offer you some food? Well, I'll take a cup of coffee if you'll serve it from the mantel. Mm -hmm. Can I carry that for you? Thank you. I lose the case in court. I had a delightful afternoon with Larry today. Larry? 
Yes, the new... Oh, yes, yes. Funny, a man like him taking a job as a cowhand. I wonder what he's running away from. Why don't you ask him, dear? Oh, I did. He says he's running away from himself. He seemed determined to ride that horse. Oh, I wish Phil would come. Dad. Well, I hung around all day waiting for Cambot. All I did was stall. Wish I'd had my 45. All his men were there, with guns. What do you think, Kitty? Maybe I'd better sell. No, Dad. Well, good night, Phil. I'm glad you're back. I was worried about you. You weren't worried about me, were you, Kitty? No, Phil. How'd you get along with the new Rough Rider today? Get acquainted? Yes, he's nice. Kitty, honey. It's a swell new moon out tonight. Couldn't we use some of it? Well, I'm really a little tired. Doggone, I've never seen a girl change as much as you have since you've come back from college. All you've been trying to do is stall me. Oh, don't be silly, Phil. I really am tired. And there'll be other moonlight nights, won't there? Maybe. Then let's make it one of them. Good night. Well, thanks for the job, Mr. Acton. Where do I sleep? I'll show you. Okay. What have you been doing all day? Oh, Miss Baldwin's been showing me around. She's a wonderful girl, Mr. Acton. Oh, you don't have to call me Mr. Acton. All right. Phil. She doesn't seem to be happy out here, does she? She's in so much trouble, too. Gosh, I wish I could do something to help. She's okay. Yeah. It's Larry Knight, New Callahan. Show him what to do and how to do it. Okay. Hey, I'd like to ride into town tomorrow night if it's all right. No, it ain't all right. You don't go off this ranch until I tell you to. Oh, yeah. They call me Curly. Yeah, why? Because I ain't. <laughs> this is Slim. Oh, yeah, Slim. Howdy. Joe. Joe, let's see. Al, Al, how do you say it? Trying to decide uh, how to go about the next time? No. <laughs> oh, just looking for his weak points. <laughs> Why are you so determined to ride him? You tell me. My reason doesn't seem to make sense. But I'm a gonna. Well, <laughs> maybe that's reason enough. You're just gonna. I don't know where I get all this determination. I never had... Maybe we never needed it before. Say... That is it. You do understand, don't you? I think so. You and I seem to agree. I wish the horse were more social. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kitty. Thought you were going to bed. Oh, we got to take some more water to the cattle. I'll need some help. Oh, sure, sure, sure. You better go in. It's cold out here. Come on, Rough Rider. Good night. Good night, Mr. Walwyn. See you tomorrow. Surely. Good night. Good night. Right up here? Yeah, get over the other side of me. Pardon me. She's a fine girl. Yeah. I've thought so. For years. Well, Phil. Oh, gee. I should have known, of course. Well, I'll say you're both lucky. Thanks. Is Baldwin still hauling bells of water to his cattle? Yep. Well, I didn't get mighty tired of that. Seven miles is a mighty long drag. 
Yes, but what about this overflow? Why? Neck and leg near their fence. It's draining their way. Well, we'll fix that. You get a couple of boys down there today and take this water and spill it over our backlands. That'll do it. You meant to waste all this water? Why not? There's a lot more where it comes from. When you find yourself on one end of a rope in this country, you want to be sure there's a friend on the other. Well, I've been here two weeks, and I've been pretty lucky so far. What are you doing at this gate? Oh, uh, I was just trying to fix it. You know, it'd uh, be too bad if that staple fell out. If our cattle get through, there'll be no end of trouble. I'm only a tenderfoot. What do I know about gates? If I do it wrong, they can't blame me. I'm only doing my best to fix it. So you didn't get your train after all, huh? Oh, uh, no. So you didn't give me the right information. You know, Miss Kitty, I wish your father would come around to my way of thinking. We may sell our ranch someday, Hembert, but we'll never sell it to you. You shouldn't feel that way, Miss Baldwin. Another thing. Say, what's the idea? Hey there. my heart good. Look at them drink. Well, that's their last drink. You know, opening that gate, young fellow, was deliberate trespass. You mean I opened it? Yes. You didn't see me do it, did you? No, I didn't see you do it, but uh, maybe some of the cattle did it with their noses. Some of them got pretty smart noses. So have some people. And if you don't stop putting that smart nose of yours in other people's business, you'll wish you'd cut that train. Oh, yeah? So, you open the gate and give our stock a drink, eh? No, this smart Alec pulled the staple. Now, you better get that cattle off of my property in ten minutes, otherwise I'll send my men over. What'd you pull that staple for? Let me handle this camera thing, will you? Phil, Larry has handled the situation all right up to now. Oh, he has. Yes. I'm going to go tell Dad about this and make him feel good. Come on, let's get those cattle back before we lose some more of them. Okay, Bill. I'd like to get even with that fresh monkey. Let's go, then. Larry, didn't you hear me calling you down there? No, I didn't, Phil. 
Uh, you're not trying to double-cross me with Kitty, are you? What's getting into you, Phil? Oh, I'm not blind. She likes you. <laughs> but Kitty would never take me seriously. I didn't know you felt that way about it. Kitty and I were brought up together. And ever since she came back from college, I thought... Well, there's no sense in a girl like her marrying a cowpuncher like me. But she's going to. I'm going to bring her around to my way, I think. Because if I don't, I won't be worth a hoop to myself or anybody else. Oh, you just imagine that. Would you leave Kitty to me? I'll straighten her out, all right. I think it's getting a little chilly. No, I'm comfortable, Larry. I believe we were talking about Phil. Sure. You know, uh, I don't know when I've seen a man I admire as much as I do him. Phil has everything. Nerve, courage, determination. I wish I had half his character. But look at me. I came out here with a crazy idea about riding a horse. I haven't even done that. Well, Phil hasn't ridden that horse either. But you don't get the idea. Phil doesn't have to. Don't you agree? Larry, I've known Phil ever since I was a child. I agree with everything you say about him. You don't have to sell him to me. How long can cattle live without water? The way ours have been going, they can't last a week. Doesn't it ever rain? Later on in the year. That will be too late. You know, if your father would allow it, I'll gamble that Phil would get water in here in no time. Yes, we'd have water and the sheriff would have Phil. You know, I don't really believe you understand Phil at all, Kitty. Larry, I know just what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it. But it is getting a little chilly. I think I'll go in. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm getting tired loading water every night like this here. There's no use in it, neither. This little mite of water like this just keeps them cows a surfing warm. Got it ready, boys? What is of it? Can I give you a hand, Phil? Sure, hop in. I won't need you, boys. Them sweet sounding words to us. I just can't put it into words, but I feel kind of low. Me too. Feel like I could dig a hole, crawl into it, pull a hole in after me. Same here. That's just what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to dig a hole. Listen. Oh, boy. We can get water. Well, uh, <laughs> I think we can. You know, I learned a little bit about geology in college. We can dig a well in the old stream bed. And there should be enough seepage water come through to make it worthwhile. See? Is that what you were going to say first? Sure, why? I don't know. Just thought maybe you had another trick up your sleeve, like that gate business. Why, Phil, I don't know any tricks. Oh, no. You play off dumb, but you're just about as smart as they make them.
Take it away. Where's Larry? Hey, are you down there? Hello. Come on up. I can. I'm working. If you don't come up, I'm coming down. I haven't seen you for three days. There's no room. I'm coming down anyway. I want to see what you're doing. seeks its own level, and we're lower than they are. Nothing uh, could be lower than Nick Cambert. <laughs> How much further do you have to go? Oh, we're right under him now. How do you know? I don't say, I went to Georgia Tech. Engineering? Well, I uh, majored in football, but I did take up a little engineering. You see, we take the dynamite, and we blow it up, and the water rushes through the tunnel. And before Cambert has a chance to plug up the hole, we've got enough water to last us until the rain starts. It may cause a lot of trouble. Can I help it if I'm digging a well and I accidentally blow a hole in Cambridge Lake? That proves what a terrible engineer I am. Well, that's certainly a clever idea if it works. It'll work. Uh, but when you set off dynamite, there are just three things to remember. Put the stick on an angle, light the fuse, and run. Say, how come you to know so much about dynamite? I used to help Dad blow up stumps in the ranch. Where's Kitty? There's her horse. Yeah, I know that, but where is she? Down the hole with Larry. What's she doing down there? I don't know. It's awful dark down there. I'd go down and take a look if I had you. Kind of observing, ain't you? Well, I don't know. We're not all blind, Phil. <coughs> all right, lower away. Believe in myself. Say, how much longer is this thing gonna take? I'm practically finished now, Phil. Larry's idea is gonna work, Phil. Don't interrupt him. Interrupt? He'll be ready tomorrow. I think I'll take a look. Oh, come on, Phil. Please leave him alone. I bothered him enough already. All right. I came out to have a talk with you anyway. Take her up. Kitty, I've been wanting to ask you something. Ever since Larry and I... Phil, do we have to go over all... All right. I'll come right to the point. Are you in love with Larry Knight? I know it all the time. I was just kidding myself. Well, I'm no good to you now. The cross triangle or anybody. Oh, please don't feel that way, Phil. How else could I feel? I'm getting out of it. I'm quitting. Phil, we need you now. Tell old man Baldwin I'm quitting. Quitting? Why? That's my business. That ain't no way to talk. If you're quitting the cross triangle, there's no reason why you and I can't be friendly. 
Come on up to the house and have a drink. A drink? If I ever got drunk, I'd bite myself. Ah, oh, come on up. Okay. today. Well, I guess the safest place for this dynamite is here. If you don't mind, it won't blow up the kitchen or anything. Mm -hmm. You seen Phil? Well, I haven't seen him since this morning. He told me he's going to quit. He's quitting? Wait, Larry. I want to talk to you. No, I, I've got to talk to Phil. He's not going to walk off this ranch. Thinking of leaving, are you? Yep, leaving tomorrow. Then pay me that five bucks. What for? You ain't rid that horse yet. Gee, I did nearly lose sight of my objective, didn't I? I'm gonna ride that horse right now. Give me a hand, will you? No, sir. I want that five bucks. Throw the rest of my junk together, will you? I've got to find Phil. What time is it? Four o'clock. Morning or afternoon? Morning. Morning? Whew. Been talking a long time. Yeah, but you don't say anything. Say, don't you think that offer of $8,000 is fair enough? Think they'll take it? No, they won't take it. You think you're smart, Nick. Tomorrow the laugh will be on you. What do you mean by that? Wouldn't you like to know? I know what it is. You're not telling me anything. It's that well they're digging. I thought there was a lot of dirt coming out of that hole. Is that it? Now, I'm drunk. But I wouldn't say anything to hurt the dean or Kitty. Have a drink. No. I got a lot of thinking to do, and I don't do any drinking when I'm thinking. You thought you were putting something over on me, but you're not. I've treated you fair all along, and I expected fair treatment from you. Why, I don't know what you're talking about, Nick. Oh, you don't. Well, have it your own way. But I'm still offering you $8,000 for the ranch. $8,000 today and now. Well, there's a lawyer up to my place, and you can go up there and settle it if you want to. Well, I'll be up to see you today, Nick. But... All right, make it as fast as you can. Bye. 
Dad, we can't sell the place. Oh, what can I do, Kitty? I, I can't stand any more of this strife. And our cattle are dying like flies. If I could only have gotten the case tried in court. Wait, please, Dad. Mary will get water. It'll work. I've seen it. Oh, that's what Nick meant. You see, he knows about that. Cambert knows? Yes, I'm afraid all Larry has had is a lot of good exercise. But, Dad, you wouldn't sell if we had water now, would of you? Of course not, honey, but there's no use. Oh, yes, there is. You'll see. all over for you, Phil. Say, Phil, are you drunk? Not today. It was last night. Sober and I know everything I'm doing. Oh, devil cross him. He came out here to ride a horse. <laughs> he gave me a ride. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Every minute. You came here to ride a horse for the satisfaction it would give you. Well, I came back to knock your block off for the satisfaction it would give me. And then I'm walking out of here. Oh, you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. And I'm in my right senses. Now, does that make you feel better? I don't want to fight with you, Phil. But I'm not going to stand up here all day and take this. Phil! Phil! I had to do it, Phil. I had to make you see daylight. You're not walking off this ranch. I'm going to blow that tunnel up and then I'm leaving. No, I could dig a hole. Crawl in and pull the hole in after me. Why? What have you done? I was with Cambert last night. You, you told him about the tunnel? I don't know. I'm not sure. The dean's on his way now to sell the cross triangle. He's going to sell out for nothing. What can I do? I'll show you what you can do. Get up here. Now you go to Cambert's and keep the dean from signing until I get that water through. Hey, take your gun with you this time. Nina, now think, talk fast. What happened to it? The dynamite. Well, I, I, I seen Miss... Uh, Miss Kitty? Yes. Yes, yes. Miss Kitty. Yes. She took it and uh, she went out and... Don't sign. Why won't he sign? Why, Phil? Well, just don't sign, that's all. Oh, so the tenderfoot still thinks he can tap my leg. 
Well, I'll stop that fresh guy. Oh, yeah, John. Behind you. Baldwin, you better start pushing that pen before I get back if the deal's off. Gonna do me a lot of good to stop that fresh guy. thing down. I'm not going any place. I'll say you ain't.
Kid me. I didn't. Ah, oh, shut up. Catch that train now. But there's no hard feelings. No. She in jail someday, Nick. Oh, Larry. She's coming around all right. Say goodbye to her for me. Thank you. 